Now we're given the equation of the graph f of x. We're now told that it's equal to 2 minus the mod then of x plus 1. And we're asked to find the coordinates p, q and r. Well starting with p, let's just put down for p. What do we know about p? Well p is the highest point on the graph. So we want to get f of x to be as large as possible. And for f of x to be as large as possible we need this term to be as small as possible to take away something. So the smallest value you can have for this mod is 0 and that's going to be when x plus 1 equals 0 in other words when x is negative 1. So the coordinates of p will be negative 1 for x and the corresponding f of x value will be 2. So p has coordinates minus 1, 2. Now for q, q is where the graph crosses the y-axis and this will be when x is 0. So what we need to do is to work out f of 0. And f of 0 will be 2 take away the mod of 0 plus 1, in other words the mod of 1, which is clearly 1. So 2 take away 1 is 1. So the y coordinate here of q is going to be 1 when x is 0. So we can say that q has coordinates 0, 1. Now finally for r, the coordinates of r, this is where the graph crosses the x-axis. In other words, f of x, the y value, will be 0. So we need to have 2 minus the mod of x plus 1 equals to 0. So we would just say that, that 2 minus the mod of x plus 1 equals 0. So that would mean that 2 would equal the mod of x plus 1. Now for this to equal 2, x plus 1 would have to equal 2. And you can see, just by looking at it, that x would have to be 1. 1 add 1 is 2, the mod of 2 is 2. So x is 1, and that means that the coordinates of r will be 1, 0. OK, so we have our three coordinates. We have p is minus 1, 2, q is 0, 1, and r is 1, 0. And that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.